DJ Unique, yeah, man, Steve welcome Steve. to Live with Steve Lobel. Yes, yeah, a pleasure. Thank you. But I, I call you Tim. That's right. You know, we have a lot of people that tune into this show, and I want to make sure, probably more than any interview I've ever done, that they know who the fuck DJ Unique is. That's right. And I'm, you know me. Yeah. We've been always 100. Yeah. We look in each other's yeah. eyes. Yeah. We're not with the Hollywood That's Shuffle. Right. That's right, man. And you've been a big part of hip-hop. In the West Coast. I want to go real quick on this real quick. I'm going to go right into Chris Lighty. Mm. I want you to talk to me about Chris Lighty. And Chris Lighty was helping you. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah. let's go because Chris Lighty managed 50 Cent, yeah. Busta Rhymes, and the list goes on, on and on, on. If you really yeah, know about yeah, hip-hop. Right, right. So yeah. we're going we're, we're gonna, to we're gonna have a blast right now. So Chris Lighty we talking about. Yeah, man. Chris Lighty came... In at a time, man, where you know, Easy had just passed and Ruthless was just in, it was in shambles. You know what I'm saying? And nothing was getting done. So uh, my uh, lawyer had a um, connection with, with Chris, and uh, you know, just was trying to really keep me afloat with uh, work. You know what I'm saying? Like like why this was going on at Ruthless, and uh, Chris came over to the studio where I was doing all the Bone Records at, and uh, you know pulled up and what really sparked it off with him is, is how much I knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Because he came in, I just, you know, I'm looking at him. First I'm like, because I'm hearing Chris Lighty, but I'm like, it's not the same Chris Lighty from, the, you know, Jungle Brothers, right? So I, so, so I hit him with the baby Chris and he just got quiet for a minute. Like, hey man, how you know? I, I started breaking it down from there. He just, man, just fell in love with me, man. So from there, you know, we started talking about, you know, doing a couple projects that he had on Violator. And uh, man, it just, you know what I'm saying? We just, you right. know what I'm saying, connected. Connected guy in hip hop. Rest yeah. in peace, Chris Laddie. And he looked out for Flash. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy, oh my God. Tell him the story, how you know Easy. Just everybody, because remember, a lot of these yeah. viewers are younger. Yes. But we're going to get a lot of other viewers now because yes. the Bone community, especially, yeah. NWA community, is definitely going to tune in. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, Easy. Mentor, you know what I'm saying? Friend, all that. Um, I met Easy, you know what I'm saying? I would always see him at uh, events. But uh, would never really approach him on business. It was always, you know, just kind of talk a little bit with him. But there was so much going on, so at the time was never right. So I just uh, decided to take a tape up to Ruthless. And uh, he wasn't there, but Jerry was there. And Jerry, you know, saying, um, I told Jerry, you know, I had been seeing Eric and, you know, so on and so forth. I've said a few names to um, Jerry. And Jerry, okay, I'll make sure I get it to him. And uh, Easy called me. And it was like, you know, he was like, oh, man, this, this is easy, you know. I heard the, the beats for sale. That's the name of the tape I gave him. He was like, man, uh, where you been? You know, how come, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know you? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I said, man, we, you know what I'm saying? We've been around. I, I threw Steve Yano, rest in peace. I threw his name out there. He's like, oh, okay, you know, because that's how the NWA really came about as mixtapes. They was making mixtapes. So it started at, at the Rodium Swap meet, really, you feel me? So, um, so I, I threw that name out there at him. He was really like, oh, okay. So he, he, you know, he welcomed me to a ruthless Rex and Dre had just left. And was, you know, and from there we just clicked up and, uh, man, it's made history, man. Where are you from? I'm from South Central, from the east side of South Central, Los right. Angeles, yeah. Um, for the people who don't know, name some of the biggest hits you made. Oh, man. The first of the month. Thug Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, first uh, of the month, Thuggish Ruggish Bone. bone. Uh, uh, Crossroads. Crossroads. Uh, uh, Change the World. Um, what else? Uh, <laughs> so on and so forth. So on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days of Our Lives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, so it goes on and on. Yeah, all, all, all the big records. Yeah. You were there when Bone was young. Yeah. And he told you, get in with them, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd that happen? Because remember, like, there was no cameras. How was it recording Creeping in a Come Up, East 1999, Eternal, with Bone and DJ Unique? It was, you know, the chemistry was, like, automatic, man. It was like, you know, Yellow worked with them, Rhythm D, other producers from Ruthless. And when they got with me, it was just like, they were like, man, we found it. You know, and easy, you know, he always looking out for the family. So he was still, you know, like wanting the chemistry of everybody kind of get on the projects. And Bone just like, man, this is it right here. It was crazy. And I was kind of feeling a little funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, because I'm a fan of Yellow and everybody, you know. But they pushing like, nah, this is it. We found it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, man, the chemistry was cold, It was man. like Dre and Snoop. Yes. It was like um, Just Blazing, uh, Jay-Z, Swiss and DMX. Yes. Larry Smith and Run DMC. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and Crazy Bone, you know, he was the one that kind of 
like uh, gave me direction because you know I'm here doing a lot of tracks for Easy and a lot of uh, other Rufus artists. So he, you know, he was asking like, so who's the guy who did uh, Cause It's Like That on? Uh, it was a group that Easy had like. Uh, Which group? Because you know he had a lot of groups. Menage a Trois. Okay. And so it was signed through Yellow. So I did a track on them and Crazy's like, who did that track? It was. A free, I guess he had already knew or whatever. I'm like, yeah, that's the track I did. It was like they wanted like a slow jam. You know what I'm saying? And the Drace is on the song also. So uh, I was like, yeah. He said, man, that's the vibe we on. And I'm looking like, you know, I'm, I'm puzzled. Like, really? So I just started hooking up some beats while Eric took him to go get some clothes because they didn't really have no clothes and stuff like that. So he took me. When they came back, I pushed play. <laughs> they went crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing Creeping on the Come Up. I'm playing Thuggish Ruggish Bone, No Surrender. They going crazy. No oh surrender. my God. And, and oh, they man. hugging each other going crazy. You know what wow. I'm saying? So yeah, man. So it, it, it was, man, from there, it was magic. DJ Unique's top three rappers of all time. Oh, man, Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, like Ice Cube. Uh, man, I'm an old head too, though. You know, Cool J. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cool J and uh, I say Pac. I say Pac. DJ Unique. But, say only three, huh? Yeah, Ooh, I'm sorry, man. Real, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> DJ Unique's top three producers. Wow. Dr. Dre, of course. <laughs> uh, the bombs got the click, though. Okay, no, okay. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm oh, with that. Uh, oh, okay. You You're an okay. East Coast type of yeah, guy, yeah, too, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah. say in L.L., you say yeah, Bomb okay. Squad. Yeah, yeah, Bomb that's, Squad. That's, that's, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to say uh, Marley Mar. Wow. Not Marley Mar, Marley Mar. We're talking about New York Marley yeah, Mar. Marley Not Marley. my brother from Love and Hip Hop. No. And Roxanne Pop Chante. From Vegas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Big Daddy. You know the hip hop <laughs> culture. Yes. Um, how do you feel about hip hop now, today, in 2016? Man, you know, identity crisis. I, I just keep it real, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. I, everything is just sounding the same. It's no really separation. At least when we was coming up, you know, Public Enemy. You know, what I'm saying leaders of new school. You know, you, you knew everybody had their own you know, signature. Yeah, yeah, right. And uh, now it's just like everybody's following, and it's kind of scared to no take leaders. a chance. No leaders. No leaders. No leaders, man. So you know, but as far as the music and you know how the, how the game is now for somebody coming up independent. It's, you know, it's good for our social media. You know, you can get out there, blow it up, brand yourself and everything like that. You know, as long as they know they're marketing, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, the sky's the limit, you know. But as far as the identity, you know, as far as the sound, it's just, man, every, everybody. I, I can't tell who's who. Right. How do you feel about the new West Coast artists? Anybody you like? Why, oh, man, Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar. Who else? Yeah, I like Kendrick. I like, uh, see. I think you like Nipsey. Nipsey, oh my God, yes, I like I Nipsey. I think when, I, when we found him, you called me, <laughs> Yes, right? I did, yeah, man. Yeah, I remember seeing him at a 7-Eleven, yeah, over there off of, uh, off of what street that was. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big he said, yo, I'm messing with Steve Lobel, and you're like, no way, Yeah, right? yeah, he was all, yeah, that was crazy, man. Let me see, uh, who else, you know what I'm saying, from the West that's, that's new, that's really doing it? You know what I'm saying? Kendrick, Nipsey, um, Schoolboy Q. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, Schoolboy Q, I like him. Yeah, Any producers? Well, in Mustard's pretty much family, so I, I mean, he's holding it down. Right. So definitely, that's automatic, you know what I'm saying? Mustard. Uh, man, you know, it really is, they're not really no There's not many, like, though. Yeah, it's not. You see how the game changed? Yeah, yeah it we, changes we, so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew, you know what I'm saying, if it was, uh, you know, how we just said the Marley Mar, or if it was, you know, what's the dude named Diamond? You know what I'm saying? I from from Dick and Praise? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Diamond D? Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, yeah, you know, you kind of knew, you know, so. Now yeah, you like, know, you know the culture, you know the lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Um, straight out of Compton movie, what did you think of it? Thought it was good. I thought it was put together really good. Uh, the, you know, the timing, you know, things was kind of like different with the timing. You know, like I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, but you know, I guess that's, I don't, I don't know, like why it was done like that. You know what I'm saying? Because Dre and Cube was on the set consulting, so you know what I'm saying. But I thought overall, it was good. I thought that was pretty good. You know. You got any stories of just you and Easy that no one's ever heard? That you could speak about? Yeah, let me see. <laughs> I, you know, I recall, you know, Easy, um, you know, always having me come to, you know, I was just explaining to, you know, like one of your guys that, uh, 
Easy would have me come down and meet him at funny spots. And, you know, and I'm thinking, like, Eric by himself, and, you know, come meet me at rallies or meet me at Popeyes or whatever, you know. And, and then, you know, you, you know, and it's right down the street from the studio. Why are you not coming to the studio, you know? But, like, yeah, you know, come on down there. So you run down the street, and he tell you, bring a cassette of what you're working on. You bring it down there, and you have a meeting right in the car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's telling like you. It's a drug deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. So he's telling you, you know, yeah, yeah, maybe they should do this and that. And, you know, yeah, you got to remember all these things he's telling you. Then, you know, run back down the street to try to, you know, saying get it done. So the next day when you take it to them, everything is done. But that would, would be kind of crazy to me because it'd be like late. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like I, I, I'll pull up to Rite Aid parking lot and I'll see the Cherokee with, with the light on. And he, I'm like, this is, you know, you yeah, he wasn't scared of nothing. He wasn't scared. Oh, fearless. Man. Ruthless. Yeah, Ruthless man. and fearless. Yeah, real street cat, man. Kitty.